So this is a quick uh, video demonstration of our impact force measurement solution uh, with one kilohertz maximum data update rate. So this is an eight inch by eight inch uh, sensor. As you can see, it comes with a nice base and a platform on which you can either place your object or, or uh, you know, impact and direct your forces onto the top surface. It's connected to a DI 1000UHS-1K USB uh, interface. Uh, the load cell or the sensor here is connected to the interface through this uh, terminal block. Um, and then on the other side of the device is our USB output, which goes directly into the PC. And the PC is running our sensor view software that can handle up to one kilohertz data update rate. So this is a surface where you would apply the force. Like I can take a steel ball and just drop it from here. Ready. Or you can take a rubber mallet and hit it here. Like that. Or this could be a, a boxing glove which is punching on it. You can measure all kinds of impact forces using this solution. So we have four steel balls. I'm going to try and uh, drop it from the same height approximately. Uh, and then we'll see what the impact force is from each of the balls. They are of different masses. So let's take a look. So we just drop four balls of four varying sizes with approximately the same height. Um, so all the potential energy is getting uh, absorbed into kinetic energy and then the impact force. And you can see that the smallest ball was roughly, this is five, 10, 15, 20. So less than five pounds of peak force. This is almost 10 pounds of peak force. This is about 15 pounds of peak force and here is about 36 pounds of peak force. So the software um, shows you all the forces that it feels upon the drop. And so that's why you can see the dynamic nature of the, the force versus time curve. If you want to zoom in to take a look at any particular run, you can do that and you can see the data in much more finer detail. And you can see that even though this is just one kilohertz data update rate, you can get a nice uh, force versus time dynamic force capture. If you really want very, very clean dynamic response, you should go with the, the 10 to 50 kilohertz solution that we offer, and that'll give you beautiful dynamic force versus time curves. So this is our uh, impact force sensor uh, with one kilohertz data update rate. Um, if you would like to measure uh, things like, you know, how hard is somebody punching, you know, when somebody is jumping up and down, what is the dynamic impact forces, a karate kick, mixed martial arts um, uh, kick, something like that, this is a great tool for that.